M0FXB Radtail RT950 Pro. There is new firmware version 0.19. I will load it in the morning, but it's getting quite late here at home. But anyway, I'll read through the changes. Now, I did see in one photograph that the, the, the GPS logo now goes green when it's connected, which makes complete sense. Added APRS working channel settings. Added APRS channel mute settings. Changed channel name display to use larger font. Great. Added configurable APRS pop-up duration. That's like the pop-up kept vanishing. <laughs> um, added menu option to view received beacon history. Although it is in there, it wasn't in the menu. You had to hold down. I think it was the OK button when you held down. You held down the VM, saw the GPS, and then you press the OK and you saw it. Now it's in the menu. Fitch, fixed bug preventing 1750 transmission. GPS now turns green. Added setting to control whether broadcast radio is interrupted. So you can choose that now. Modified backlight to stay on when entering the radio function. The backlight actually needs a brightness level because the brightness is too low on the 950 Pro. It's actually brighter on the 950 and it's got to be doable. Um, because it, it, it does it on the, it's brighter on the 950. You can select between 960 channel mode and 64 channel zone mode under menu zone channel work mode. Well, we need zones for our groups. The side key or headphone jack definition must match the device. Otherwise, the audio amplifier may be damaged, resulting in no sound from the radio. Hmm, interesting. So you need the correct attachment if you're going to use a headphone or speaker microphone. So that's it. Well, I'm going to be um, definitely loading this in the morning and we'll be testing it, of course. I mean, it already works really well and even the APRS is actually working really well. So um, this is not a radio to send back because there's a few bugs because it's too good. £65 and it does VHF, UHF. It's a proper CB on, on FM, not AM SSB, yeah? Um, transmit four watts clean signal uh clean on vhf and uhf it does other bands and then hf it does it really well it doesn't overload it does it really well i'm completely impressed i really like the radtel 880 but i'll tell you what they hit this one out of the park there's always going to be things that you prefer about the 880 um because they're both really good sets uh, he um, ahead of their time i would say uh, and, and also the way that they've priced them so well because if these were made um by some of the big names the big companies and they came out with a radio like this Woo! thousand pound bye for now 65 to 70 pound delivered anyway in the morning it's happening bye for